In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and you are Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. In our prayer this morning, we remember Father Gabriel Shen, who passed away just a few hours ago in Ghana, only 40-something years old. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the house of the Lord, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all of you, Judah, who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, reform your ways and your deeds so that I may remain with you in this place. Put not your trust in the deceitful words, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. Only if you thoroughly reform your ways and your deeds, is if each of you deals justly with his neighbor, if you no longer oppress the resident alien, the orphan and the widow, if you no longer shed innocent blood in this place or follow strange gods to your own harm, Will I remain with you in this place, in the land I gave your fathers long ago and forever? But here you are, putting your trust in deceitful words to your own loss. Are you to steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal, go after strange gods that you know not, and yet come to stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, we are safe. We can't commit all these abominations again. Has, has this house which bears my name become in your eyes a den of thieves? I too see what is being done, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place. <laughs> My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which he puts our young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. 
While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. In this first reading of today, we hear of the prophet Jeremiah, and as usual of a prophet, Yahweh will send forth a message through them. And in this case, Jeremiah was speaking about people living double lives, being unjust, uncharitable, unkind, unfair to one another, and rejoicing in the temple, attending the duties of the temple, doing the rising and the sitting, the kneeling and the lifting of hands. And Jeremiah expressed how God is so disappointed with such a behavior. There is no worship greater than the justice of one to another. There is no greater love better than the fairness that we show one to another. There is no serving of God greater than the service that we offer to our neighbor whom we see. As I constantly say, the vertical relationship with God is as important as the horizontal relationship with God. If you cannot remember this, let us just reflect on the cross. The cross. So the vertical, my relationship with my God cannot end until it is seen in my relationship with my neighbor. In the gospel reading, we are told of a sower who goes out to sow and an enemy goes and sows weeds among the wheat. Are you an instrument of sowing weeds in the house of God? or you contribute to ensuring that the wheat that the Lord has sown in the field is kept from being choked by weeds. We pray in this Mass for the grace, the grace of sincerity, the grace of true love, the grace of true justice and fairness with one another. Let us pray. Confident that the Lord hears our prayers, we bring him our intentions today. For our bishops and priests, may they be strengthened and upheld in their ministry as they serve the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord For local and state leaders, may the guidance of the Holy Spirit help them enact laws and legislation that promote the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are homeless or without adequate housing, May the Holy Spirit bring forth people and resources to fulfill their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord For this assembly, may the graces of this liturgy transform our hearts to become more like Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord For those who have died, especially Father Gabriel, may God bring them to their eternal reward in heaven with all the angels and the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the intention for which this Mass is being offered, we pray that the Lord will grant eternal rest to Margaret and Louis O'Connor and Joseph and Anne Jack, for whom we pray in this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord 
for peace in our hearts, for peace in the world, for peace in Russia and in Ukraine, for peace in the Gaza, in Palestine and in Israel, for peace in the Haiti and in any other place where there is trouble, that the Lord, through the instrumentality of leadership and all people, will bring peace, that the people of God will live in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord Good and gracious God, we humbly place our needs before you. Please hear and answer our needs according to your holy will. For we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice which we offer to you with humble our contrite hearts. Lord, please watch our way over. Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering, yours and mine, may truly be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise the Lord in his name, for our good and the good of the Church. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in the death like his, they also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. We pray that you do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In the charity of Christ, let us share the peace of Christ with one another. I use the hay, we told his pepper donkey, in the Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How so blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my mind. Only say the word and my soul. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, or slept or aided, inspired by this confidence. We fly unto thee, O Virgin, O Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, and in your mercy, hear and answer them. 
Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Thanks. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.